and good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are. I hope you're all doing well. I'm Pierre, your host. Welcome back to my stream. I hope you had a wonderful weekend. I know that I did. I took Friday off because we had finished this painting on Thursday, and I saw no reason why to start a new painting on a Friday. So I took a three-day weekend, enjoyed the last few days of my son's spring vacation, and uh, ready to go today. So let's do like we usually do, go over to the computer. Let's just check out what we did last Thursday to finish this painting, and then we'll take our day from there. So it wasn't very complicated. We did the same thing over and over for the last two or three days, very repetitious work. But anyways, it gave us the result that we have right behind me. So we're just going to take a few seconds and enjoy this painting before I roll it up and ship it to New York. So today is going to be a relatively short stream because uh, we are going to grab some new canvas, a new roll, measure up the new size that we want, and put a coat of gesso on that painting, and then we're done for the day. We have to let the gesso, our background, dry before we can continue. So it's going to be a very short stream, probably 20 minutes or so, and we'll take and we'll tackle the actual painting tomorrow, which should be also a relatively short stream because when you put the background to a color, the same thing, it goes very quickly. And again, you have to wait for it to dry, the paint to dry before you can continue. So anyways, let's uh, just step back for one last second, check out this painting. And this painting is very different than what I usually do. I started this painting back in January, and we had some electrical problems because of some construction work that went on in the street, and we had no electricity for seven weeks, seven whole weeks. But that was okay because it was January, it was so damn cold in the studio, it's not heated here, very damp. So I didn't mind it that much, but to be honest, to be back here for the last two weeks, was wonderful. So the only problem is, is that I couldn't remember what I had in mind when I started this painting. So I just picked up the pieces where I left off and kind of improvised since, and I just was short of ideas because this is not really the way I tackle a painting usually. So anyways, this is what it gave us, and uh, I'm not complaining. Why not? So I am going to start getting the camera number one ready. I'm going to go in the back room, grab a roll of paint, of uh, canvas, and uh, we'll just stretch it up here. So I might as well do this right now. So let's get rid of this. Yes, this is a diptych in two parts. So let's put this here. Let's get rid of this staple as well. There we go. Line it up so I can roll it up so it doesn't get damaged. There we go. It's very convenient to store paintings, right? To not have them stretched on can on a on a frame and to be able just to roll them up. There doesn't take much room. Easy to send by the by the post office. So, very good. So I'm going to, uh, what am I going to do? I'm going to check out these cameras first of all, make sure everything is, so you can see what's going on. I have a room back here, which I'm going to go right now and grab my roll of new canvas. I'm going to just put this here for a few seconds. I'm going to bring this 
camera down also as well. My other camera. Oops. I caught my foot on all these wires. I'm going to just switch to a double, double decker right there. I'm going to just go back in my kitchen area back there and grab a broom and just very quickly not that isn't that much surprisingly enough there we go just a quick clean up job here there we go The best time to clean up the studio is between two paintings. It just takes a few minutes and gives the illusion of order. Order. Okay. There we go. All done. Very good. Okay, so now I can grab my canvas here, lay it on the ground. I do have a blue tarp here on the floor and on the wall because I have a, a mural that I painted uh, a while ago and to protect it, I just put this tarp down. So, very good. So, what do I need? I need, I guess, a pencil, a measuring tape, my scissors, and uh, some sort of a ruler. There we go. And I will bring the camera down here because this is basically where the action is going to take place on the floor. There we go. And my canvas is going to be basically the size I like the most is to use the width of this canvas which is 66 inches, and then I'm going to unroll a meter 20, which is about 46 inches worth. So it's a meter 70 by uh, a meter 20, or 66 by 46. There we go. So that's what I'm going to do. That is kind of the size that I enjoy the most working with. So let's do that. Let's just unroll this. Get the old tape out. So I got that done. I'm just going to get all these cameras together here, make it more so we can follow what's going on. Watch me struggle as I get on my knees. And so I'm just going to take a second to think this out. And I think we're all set. So maybe before I do that, I'm just going to take a one of my jars of water and lay it there so the canvas is flat so I can be more accurate in my measurement. So. There we go. A meter 20, make a little crow's foot right there. Another little crow's foot in the middle of the canvas. Because my ruler isn't quite that long enough. And then one last, one last little crow's foot over here. There we go. Let's 
stretch that like that. Okay, use the ruler, very good. screw up for this painting, it'll be screwed for the next painting. So I'm just going to be very careful. I don't want to get off track even by a quarter of an inch, so I'm just going to take my time. I know by pushing the scissors you can cut as well, but I'd rather just staple gun. edges are nice and vertical and that looks very good right there okay canvas, as you can see, is already pre-primed. But the problem with these pre-primed canvases is that it's like painting on glass. It's, it's a, a nightmare. The paint doesn't stick to it. You can see the brush strokes. The paint just kind of glides rather than gets soaked into the, to the primer. So what I do is I put just another coat of gesso and I prime over the primer. So that's what we're going to do before we call it quits for today. Get the old gesso out, get the, the whitest paintbrush together, which looks like I'm going to have to buy a new one pretty soon. This one is pretty caked up in paint, but I've been using it for years, so 
it's not surprising. And I'm going to have to stir with my nice little wooden spoon the gesso so it mixes all nicely. There is like a little coat of, I don't know, water on the top or maybe it's the binder. Of course, I paint with acrylic paint, so maybe it's the polymer emulsion. That was on the top, but anyways, it's already blended. Beautiful, very good. So, let me just put the tape away, my pencil, because I'll need that tomorrow probably if I start laying out what we're going to paint. I have no idea really what I'm going to paint. I have an idea of the colors I would like to use. But we'll figure all that out tomorrow. I think I'm going to do like a, well, I don't know. I'm not sure, first of all, if I'm going to paint like a frame around it. Then a circle here with kind of like space, right? I love, I love everything that has to do with astronomy. I mean, it just makes me, uh, it's a good vehicle to meditate on. So I might do the space, might do my, my little Zen rebel uh, guy here, maybe holding uh, an hourglass, the symbol of space time, the fourth dimension. I'm not sure. So we'll see all that tomorrow. Right now, let's just get this coat of the primer on and call it a day. So, this is about ready. I'm going to just keep my brush. I mean, last week I forgot to close one of my jars of paint, something I rarely do, because I'm always kind of speedy when I do these streams for some stupid reason. It's more psychological than anything else. So, take care of the materials. That's the most important. There we go. So this is clean. And so, if this was this canvas was stretched on a frame and wasn't uh, primed already, I would start from the center and I would work my way to the outer edges because as the gesso dries, it stretches, it shrinks the canvas, which makes it nice and uh, like a little drum. But since this is stapled to the wall and uh, it's already primed, it's not that important. But I still have these habits and uh, I see no reason why to break away from them. So I am going to continue and start from the center and work my way up. First I'm going to bring this other camera up to where it should be, right there. That just always gives me another option for switching, uh, switching cameras, which is always nice. So. Let's just tackle this baby right now. This is the other thing about this size. I just love these. I just love working on large physicality of it all. It's just so enjoyable. center to the edges, but like I say, on the painting that's not stretched on the frame, it doesn't really matter. I just do it force of habit.
So as many of you might know, I live in Nice on the French Riviera in France. And I had friends uh, from Paris come over this weekend, which I hadn't seen in several years. So that was really very nice. Very nice to catch up on old friends. And a reunion, talk about old times. And I rinse off my bracelet here, which just I put in the paint. No wonder as it dangles down like that. Whatever. Some painters, well, they were doing like the 16th chapel or something like that, probably fell. to the edges on the way around once again and get all the edges. right here that they leave of course so you can stretch on a on the frame but I'm just gonna paint over it done for the day here. Mm -hmm. 
Now, of course, I could have come on Friday and done this. I didn't think about that, but it's true. I could have done that, but the whole point of the stream is to share everything that goes on in the studio. And to me, I consider this starting a new painting, and it makes more sense to start on a Monday rather than on a Friday. So that was the reasoning behind that. Plus, as I mentioned earlier, it was the last few days of my son's spring vacation, and it was kind of fun to stay home. Watch him play video games, see him kick some ass. There we go. So, did I get everywhere? Let's just use the Looks like I got it all. Very good. Very good. Let's put this brush to soak for a few seconds before I wash it out with some soap. Put the gesso away. Staples to make sure that I get all the wrinkles out. Let me pull this one back out and restable it. There we go. Oops. And I'll do the same over here. There we go. And take this one out. And restretch it just, just like that. Very good. There we go. Okay. Very good, very good, very good. Just step back for one second, see where we're at. Okay, very, very good. I guess we're finished for the day. No point of sticking around any longer. I'm gonna thank you once again for joining me on my stream. I hope uh, you'll join me tomorrow. We'll be back here at 9 a.m. Eastern time and we'll start uh, deciding what we're going to do for sure, and then put the first coat of the background paint. So, anyways, I want to, I'm going to leave you like usual with my schedule and by saying, ciao mes amis.